Rocket engines are undoubtedly the most crucial part of any space rocket. In fact, in many cases, around 60% of a space rocket's cost is dedicated solely to the engines. Unlike other space companies that purchase engines from established manufacturers like Boeing and Russia, SpaceX has been committed to developing its own engines right from the start. Now, they are taking things to a whole new level with the introduction of a groundbreaking new engine by Musk. Before diving deeper into this exciting development, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship and other SpaceX advancements. During the latest Starship launch, all 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster started up successfully and completed a full duration burn during ascent. This was a significant improvement over the first launch, where around six engines were lost between liftoff and flight. The launch also successfully demonstrated a novel stage separation technique known as hot staging, where Starship's engines ignite to push the booster away. This was a major step forward compared to the first orbital flight test, which did not reach this phase. Despite these successes, both the Super Heavy booster and the Starship upper stage eventually experienced failures, leading to their destruction. The automated flight termination system was triggered for both stages, though the specific reasons for these events were not immediately clear. The data collected from these events will be crucial for understanding the booster's performance and making necessary improvements. The performance in this latest launch aimed to exceed that of the previous test flight on April 20th, where several Raptor engines malfunctioned on ascent and the booster failed to separate properly from the upper stage. In that test, the spacecraft reached only about halfway to its target altitude before disintegrating. SpaceX has been rapidly increasing the production of Raptor engines, having manufactured close to 400 engines. The Raptor engines, more powerful than the Merlin engines used in the Falcon 9 rockets, have evolved from Raptor 1.0 to Raptor 2.0, enhancing performance and thrust while reducing part complexity. However, Musk isn't satisfied with just leading the pack. He recently unveiled plans for the next-generation Raptor engine, promising more power and efficiency, yet, intriguingly, no heat shield. This development raises questions about the future of Starship and SpaceX's overall trajectory. The Raptor 3 engine, with 18% more thrust than its predecessor, Raptor 2, is a testament to SpaceX's innovation in rocket engine technology. Musk has indicated that the next-generation Raptor engine will be robust enough not to require a heat shield. This new engine is expected to offer more thrust, higher specific impulse, and many other improvements. For instance, considerations like removing the gimbal on the outer engines and reducing the weight of the Raptor engines by about 200 kilograms for the 40 engines in the first and second stage of the Super Heavy Starship are part of this evolutionary process. This weight reduction would consequently lower the overall weight of the rocket by about 8 tons, significantly impacting the rocket's performance and cost-effectiveness. SpaceX is also exploring extreme ideas for future developments, including potentially removing the entire skirt of the booster and merging the fuel pump with the main chamber injector, all in the pursuit of making the engine simpler, lighter, and cheaper. The Raptor 3 engine has already achieved a 350 bar chamber pressure, delivering 269 tons of thrust. This level of performance makes the Starship Super Heavy booster with Raptor 3 engines 2.56 times more powerful than the historic Saturn V rocket, a significant milestone in rocket engineering. SpaceX is expected to employ this new engine in its upcoming launches. Regarding the timeline for the next Starship launch, Musk recently stated that the third Starship vehicle should be ready to fly in three to four weeks, as of November 19, 2023, potentially placing the launch before Christmas 2023. However, it's important to note that Musk's timelines can sometimes be overly optimistic. For instance, the first Starship flight test occurred on April 20, 2023, and the second launch took place on November 18, 2023. This gap of about seven months between the first and second launches might suggest a similar time frame could be expected for the third launch, especially considering the complexity and scale of the engineering involved.
given this past pattern, while Musk's recent statement indicates readiness in a matter of weeks, the actual launch might occur later, possibly in early 2024. SpaceX's approach to development, with its focus on rapid iteration and testing, means that schedules can shift as new data and engineering challenges arise. The use of the Raptor 3 engines in the upcoming launches represents a significant step forward in SpaceX's ambitious space exploration goals, and the third launch of the Starship will be a key milestone in testing and validating these advanced engines. Some of you might be wondering, isn't producing their own engines slowing down the development of the Starship? Wouldn't it be easier if they bought ready-made engines like most space companies do? But here's the thing. SpaceX's approach to developing their own engines, while seemingly more time-consuming, is actually a strategic move that offers long-term benefits. By designing and manufacturing engines in-house, SpaceX has greater control over the performance, cost, and adaptability of their technology. While this path requires significant investment and resources, it ultimately leads to innovations like the Raptor 3 engine which are tailored specifically to the ambitious goals of the Starship program. Moreover, SpaceX's decision to produce its own engines has granted the company a significant degree of independence. For instance, when Russia imposed an embargo on engine supplies to American space companies as part of its response to the situation in Ukraine, many of these companies faced severe challenges. They had been reliant on Russian engines for their rockets, and the sudden halt in supply disrupted their operations. In contrast, SpaceX, by developing its own engines, shielded itself from such geopolitical risks, ensuring a more stable and controlled progression of its space programs. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on the early days when many thought Blue Origin would be a strong competitor to SpaceX. Both companies have similar backgrounds, founded by wealthy entrepreneurs with grand visions for space exploration. However, the current scenario paints a different picture. SpaceX has consistently made headlines with its achievements in record-breaking rockets, while Blue Origin has been more in the news for test failures and legal issues. Comparing their biggest rockets, SpaceX's Starship has already achieved two successful launches and is preparing for a third, while Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket has yet to conduct a single public test. This contrast highlights the divergent paths these two pioneering companies have taken in the race to space. In the global space race, Chinese launch startup Landspace is also making waves. They announced plans to develop a reusable stainless steel rocket that will be using methane and liquid oxygen. This ambitious project, still in its early stages, faces numerous challenges, including the complexities of working with steel and stiff competition both domestically and internationally. Landspace's efforts, along with those of other Chinese firms like Space Pioneer and Space Epoch, reflect China's growing ambition in the space sector, spurred by advancements in the U.S. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.